The simulator is a, a full mission simulator used for refresher training and progression training for the marine pilots. We have more than 100 marine pilots and to facilitate training at external locations would be very challenging from a logistics and availability point of view and therefore the authority invested in their own simulator so that we could accommodate all of the simulation here on site and uh, we also gives us the flexibility to be able to run court bespoke courses uh, which are driven by its particular events or for individual pilot needs and also for investigation of incidents or post event. 10 metres come ahead. The process of training the pilot begins with a two-week induction followed by what they call a tripping uh, session which involves tripping with another pilot on ships. They do around about 100 trips with another pilot. In between the 100 uh, trips they do simulator sessions. They also have periodic, they have monthly reviews all the way and then towards the end they have a six-week break from the tripping and the simulation training to study for their final exam which they Look at all the charts for the Thames uh, area, so you have to get all the knowledge. It's a bit like doing the knowledge for cabin for London. So they learn all that knowledge and then they have a set of three exams at the end. Then once they've done their three exams and they're successful, they have to do an assessment trip with a senior pilot and are then qualified then to what they call a class four pilot. Okay, if you just bring them to a stop and we'll stop the exercise. Simulator complements traditional training methods by giving uh, newly qualified pilots or pilots that are in training a level of confidence that they can get which they wouldn't otherwise get if they were to go onto a ship and try and handle a ship in the real world because if they do it in a simulator they take that level of confidence out and they're confident to be able to do that on a real ship. It's a confidence building tool. COVID has impacted on the ability for us to conduct training for pilots because it, it has reduced the number and interaction of personnel because of social distancing and also the utilisation of PPE and different techniques to, to combat COVID. We've also had a reluctance of the masters on vessels in accepting trainee pilots uh, in, in addition to the authorised pilot to attend their vessel. It's also increased the time frame to achieve the same amount of training because we've had to reduce the number of pilots that can be included in a simulator session at any one time. Port of London Pilotage Department has received support and guidance from organisations such as Port Skills and Safety, UK Maritime Pilots Association in ensuring that we are kept up to date with the latest developments and also techniques and um, information from, from these organisations which have all benefited in assisting keeping the accident rate down for the time that the pilots are actually working with us and during their progression to senior pilot.